Hi friends, I want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with fellow artists on a topic that I had been dwelling on for quite some time now, and that is, why is the best things in life placed behind fear? Have you noticed that when you're about to embark on something truly significant, fear tends to make its entrance? It's the moments when we decide that we're going to pursue the goals that we have always wanted Fear seems to step in and instantly allows us to remain stagnant. Why is that? You know, I feel like fear is an indicator that we are on the right path. It is like a signal that we are on the brink of unlocking new potential. And in my own artistic journey, I've realized that the moments that fear seems to intensify in my life is often when I am about to hit something so profound. Like a profound breakthrough is going to happen in my life. That is when fear comes. And I think it's essential for us to realize that instead of fear being something that holds us stagnantly, allow it to be an indicator that you're going in the right direction. Because fear isn't meant to be a barricade. Think of it as a guidepost to pointing us towards growth and opportunity. And so when I find myself feeling very scared, very intimidating to pursue that thing, I think it's important to realize that it could actually help propel you to new opportunities to help you grow and further your advancement as an artist. And so I've been there. I've been there before where I have allowed fear of success to paralyze me. But here's the catch. To truly overcome it, you have to confront it. You have to allow fear to be a catalyst rather than a restraint. Because if you allow it to be a restraint, it's going to make you stop everything that you wanna do and not encourage you to move forward. I have been there before. I have been stuck and stagnant. Most recently, I was realizing why every single time I wanted to do something, this fear and this anxiety started to cripple me. And I had to really dwell on why this was happening and say, you know what? You know what? Fear isn't meant to hold me back. There's no way. Because every single time I had pursued the thing behind fear, it always, always, always led to success. Which is why I think it's important to activate fear and turn it into excitement. Because honestly, can we really differentiate between the two? Can we realize that maybe the thing that we're actually feeling isn't fear, but it's excitement? So how do we deal with fear? If it is fear, we convert that fear into excitement. We have to, because if we're more excited to accomplish the thing, then our body and our mind says, okay, this is excitement. This is not fear. There's something rewarding on the other end. There's something there for me that is going to ignite that fire and that burning sensation to accomplish it. And so it is a fuel. Embrace it as an energy needed to fuel your passions in your creativity, because without it, what are we using to drive ourselves to accomplishing and attaining the things that we really want to do? And I have found that when fear and excitement dance together, the outcome is often more vibrant and fulfilling than I could ever imagine. The two together is the ammunition you need to ignite that success. It, it is the thing that we need to continue to keep going. Because without it, I believe it actually is the hindrance. It actually really is. And so whenever I'm thinking about any topic, I like to 
explore the biblical principles of fear and what does the Bible say about how to deal with fear and how can we overcome fear and if the best things in life are indeed behind fear doesn't that mean that it's an aligned with God's plan because the Bible tells us to fear nothing but the Lord himself and if the best things in life are behind fear, doesn't that mean that the best things in life are God? Like the best things in life is God. And when I'm considering this, I've realized that when it comes down to biblical figures in the Bible, they always felt inadequate, insecure, and unworthy when they are called by God. Yet, by taking the steps forward, even in the uncertainty, they overcome their fears and are fulfilled with their divine purpose. And so fear is the indicator to get you out of your comfort zone. It's the thing that allows you to tread those untreaded territories, uncharted territories, and it allows you to do something that you've never done before, but the result is the most rewarding. There's a scripture that says in Psalms 34, four, and it says that I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all of my fears. That is significant within itself. And I think as an artist, when you realize that by pursuing the things that you want to do, and you feel fear, that is an indicator that you're on the right alignment to going after the plans that God has in store for you. That is when you are going after the Lord. It's really easy to remain stagnant in our growth as Christians and as our in our growth as artists to say, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to church, I'm gonna read my word, I'm gonna fast, and I'm gonna hope that the Lord answers all of my prayers, and then I'm gonna remain stagnant in my work. There is something prohibiting you from actually attaining what the Lord has called you to do because through your obedience, that is where your faith walk lies with God through your obedience. When God tells you to do something and you know the good that you ought to do, and I forgot what scripture this is, but when you know the good that you ought to do and you choose not to do it, it is a sin against yourself and God. You know the things that you have to do on your journey. You know the things that you want to attain within your life. And in the realm of art, the journey may seem daunting, but there's no such thing as failure when you are passionately pursuing your goals, when you are diligently going after the things that you know that you want, there is no such thing as failure. Failure to me is when you are not putting in any effort. Failure to me looks like you watching other people attain the things that you know you want to do and you start to criticize them and you start to judge them because they're where you want to be. That is what failure looks like to me. You know, as a student, back in the day when you had to submit something, right? I always told my sister, there is no such thing as failure when you submit what you have. When you go after what you have, when you submit, even if it is not worthy, even if it's inadequate, that you still submit that thing. Because a failure looks like you not submitting anything, you instantly get a zero for your participation. But what does it look like when you are on the verge of something significant and you feel inadequate, but you still submit that? You still get points, right? You still get points. So by you choosing not to put an effort, not to go after your dreams, your goals, your passions, that right there is failure. There is no such thing as failure when you are passionately driving towards the thing that you want in this life. There's no such thing as fa failure. And so as an artist, it is so essential for you to keep going. 
no matter what, keep creating. Even if you don't feel like your art is worthy, even if you feel like you're an inadequate as an artist, embrace the challenges that come your way. Because after all, the best things in life might just be waiting on the other side of that fear. The best things in life are just on the other side of that fear. And so in conclusion, okay, listen to me. In Philippians 1.6, the word says, He who began a good work in you will carry it out to completion. It may not seem like you know what the outcome looks like. There's a lot of uncertainty, but that scripture alone lets you know that you, by you beginning a good work, that God would see it through completion. And so artists, please hear me out. Your fear is an indicator that you're on the right path. It is not meant to hold you back. It is a signal post that allows you to overcome your insecurities, to overcome your challenges, and it's meant for you to find discomfort and the comfort knowing that you're going to pursue a breakthrough, that you're going to attain something that you could not even imagine. There's something beautiful waiting on the other side of that fear. So pursue it with all of your might, with all of your heart, and know that there is something beautiful on the other end of that. And so for today, ev everyone watching, I wanna challenge you and not even just challenge you, I want to encourage you that this week, I want you to write down one thing that you have wanted to do. And I want you to write down that on the top of a piece of paper. And then I want you to step, like list out the steps, the first step in attaining that goal. And by next week, I'm gonna read everybody's comments and I'm gonna read the effort that you put into that. Because for me, I'm doing this now. And I'm realizing that the Lord is truly working on your efforts of faith. And so it's important for us to keep pursuing it, to keep working at it. Because like I said, there is no such thing as failure when you are passionately pursuing your goals. All right? Okay. And actually do the challenge that I have presented out to you because I just know that through your act of obedience and working in alignment with fear, there is something excitingly abundant that is going to happen on the other side of that. Okay. All right. Bye.